Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16.2 which is the latest public release of iOS 16 and it actually has a lot of problems that you need to be aware of. We're also talking about iOS 16.2.1 and of course everything else that you need to know about the upcoming days and the upcoming releases that are expected to come from Apple. Now before we get into the video, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I'm noticing that most of you guys that watch my videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to subscribe. It also helps the channel a lot. And we're starting things off talking about iOS 16.2, which as I said at the beginning of the video, has a lot of issues. Now this started as a great update with a lot of big new features and changes and of course is the biggest update to iOS 16 yet, but it's actually really bad. It has a lot of problems that are affecting a lot of users. So first of all, the screen flickering thing, I've talked about this previously, I'm seeing more reports about this. So that's actually something that will have an impact only on the iPhone 14 Pros and it's actually really bad. So the screen will just start flickering. You will see different lines like on your screen before it gets to its normal state. Now I've seen a lot of reports regarding this and it's an issue that has been happening since the iOS 16.2 update. So actually that's really, really concerning. Now Apple has also addressed this and it's not like a defect on the hardware. It's actually a software bug. So that needs to be fixed. The other bug that I have experienced on iOS 16.2 and I've seen all other people report this is that some apps won't actually open. Like for example, I've noticed noticing this on Snapchat and Instagram as well. Sometimes when I try to open the app, it will just say stay like on a black screen just like that and we'll have to just close the app from the app switcher and restart it again in order for the app to properly work. Now this has happened not only once, it has happened quite a few times and it's actually really really annoying another thing that I have seen other users report on reddit I didn't experience this myself is for some users face ID is not actually working with iOS 16.2 now that's really really huge now that might be a problem only for certain devices or certain users because I'm not notice, noticing it on my device and some users has, have also reported that the face ID is actually working but it's way slower than it used to be. I'm not noticing any of those problems by myself but actually I have seen a lot of reports regarding this and all of this since the release of iOS 16.2. And here goes another one, the volume buttons not working on a phone call or on a FaceTime call. Not when you're on the app, but while on the call, you try to volume up or volume down, it actually won't work and won't let you actually change the volume of your device. So that's also a really bad like bug. And again, this is on iOS 16.2 and not earlier versions of iOS 16. Now this other one is quite big and it's affecting most users of iOS 16 that use AirPods on their devices. Now you can see right here, I have the batteries of my devices. I have here the AirPods and a lot of users are reporting that the AirPod case will show 0% charge even though it's charged. In this case, it's showing a normal charge on my device here and I didn't have this problem, but I've seen a lot of reports from numerous people talking about this and this is also an issue of iOS 16.2. So basically, it won't show you the exact percentage of battery that you have on your AirPods case, not the AirPods themselves, but the AirPod case and most times it will show it as 0%. Just like in this case here, you can see this is from Reddit, the screenshot from Reddit, and you can see right there we have the case at 0%, even though your user knows that it has battery on the AirPods case and it's actually charging when it puts the AirPods in it, but it still shows the 0%. And here we have another one from Reddit. Now this is really bad. So you go ahead and try to record a screenshot on your device. As you probably know, when recording a screenshot on your device on iOS, when you enter a passcode, it will just remove the keyboard, of course, so it doesn't record the passcode. But in this case with iOS 16.2, it's actually hitting the keyboard, but it's showing the letters when they type them. So that's actually really, really bad. 
And here we have another two problems that I haven't been noticing myself on my device, and that's overheating and overheating while charging. Now, the device overheats time to time when basically using different apps that are actually not apps that will require a lot of CPU power. Of course, those apps will heat up your device, but just normal apps, sometimes it heats here on the camera area just besides the camera and another one while charging. Now, I have been using the same fast charger for a long time and never had that problem. Of course, when fast charging your device, it will heat up a bit your device, but not that much. I've been noticing that in the last couple of weeks or so, since I have been having this update since the RC version, actually, the device is heating a lot more when charging with the fast charger. So what we need then, these are the big problems that a lot of users are facing on iOS 16.2. And I will leave you guys a link to a Reddit post where you can see all the different bugs that have been posted by people for iOS 16.2 and just take a look at them, see if you have the similar bugs to them. And of course, it's better to know that it's not just you or your device. This is a bug of iOS 16.2. But what do we need next? Of course, iOS 16.2.1, which I believe is an update that should come very, very soon. Maybe even today or tomorrow, we should see iOS 16.2.1, of course, to fix all these bugs. Now, it's of, of course not always sure that it will fix all of these bugs, but I'm expecting Apple to release this update to fix some of the major bugs. Now, first of all, this update should bring back probably the new HomeKit architecture that Apple released with iOS 16.2, but then they pulled it. This should be something that will come with iOS 16.2.1 and I believe the screen flickering, the screen like bug with iOS 16.2 on the iPhone 14 Pros, that should be something that should be fixed really, really soon. Hopefully, and I believe it will with iOS 16.2.1. As I said, even with the release of iOS 16.2.1, I don't expect all these bugs to be fixed, but this one should. This is a serious bug and can get someone in trouble, so hopefully they will fix that. And this one right here, the one with the battery case percentage, I believe that will be one that will be fixed with iOS 16.2.1 as well. But when can we expect iOS 16.2.1 to be released to the public? Now, today we are Monday, January 9th, and I'm not surprised if Apple releases it today. It might happen today or even tomorrow because Apple hasn't released, of course, due to the all holiday season and all that, they haven't released an update for a long time now, even not a beta. So I would expect Apple to release iOS 16.2.1 as soon as today or maybe tomorrow. And of course, I suggest everyone that has been updated to iOS 16.2 to go ahead and immediately update to iOS 16.2.1. And then, of course, this week we should also expect iOS 16.3 Beta 2. Now, Beta 1 was released with the physical key feature and it was released like almost a month from now. And of course, we didn't have any new updates since then. Now, I would expect Apple to actually release that update maybe tomorrow or on Wednesday and it should have a lot more features than the first beta. I believe that hopefully we will see a lot more changes than we saw on the first beta, which basically has only that major feature, even though it has some smaller changes, of course, on iOS and overall the UI. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the current state of iOS. iOS 16.2, it's actually not looking that good. Hopefully that will change really, really soon with the release of iOS 16.2.1. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching watching the video don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one